What's up, guys? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm not, I'm not lagging as much. Why am I still lag? I have 49 frames and I'm still lagging. Okay. So, what's up, guys? It's Dark Lord Projects, and here with the redstone build, this is a very compact, one wide, um, what you call it, a hopper filter. So, let's see how it works. We get the diamond, which is our which is our, you know, the payment thing. So you press it. I mean, you push it in. <gasps> I'm getting emerald. It's <gasps> pretty cool, right? So, what if you happen to be that guy who just throws in anything and hoping you'll get anything back, right? Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. See, the hopper rejected. Rejected. It'll. It will only accept the things that you want to be accepted. Or in this instance, I put diamond okay so let's see let's show you how to build it it's pretty simple it's only one wide except for the command block which you don't really need that was just an added feature that I wanted I you don't really need I'll just break it so this is how big it is you can take a screenshot there is no hidden red zone well pretty much there isn't so you don't really need a tutorial but I'm a good guy so I will give you a tutorial and here we go so let's go over there have this set up. So the first thing you need to do, you need to build this. So pretty much block, 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 block. Right? Easy. Next, repeater, repeater here. On one tick delay, so that's pretty much nothing right there. You wanna put redstone dust here and here. You wanna put a comparator here. Um uh oh, can't speak. A torch there. Now, from there, you want to build this out, th just so you could put in your hoppers. Now, you could take this take this out, pretty much. And you, wanna, you want the hoppers to be facing the block that I just placed right there. So, right here. And one below that. Oops. Oopsie. And one below that. Like that. Now what else you're going to need is signs. And for the first hopper, this one over here, not the bottom one, this one, you're going to place the signs like this, like so. And the last one, you're going to put two. Now, this spot is for the ones that you want the item of your choice to be. For this instance, I'll just use diamond again. So two, di uh, two diamonds. Oopsie. Oh my god. Two. Oops, I messed up. Okay, see? Two diamonds, right? Like that. Or any other item that you want. Now, the reason this hopper... Um, the thing about hoppers, there's a thing called priority. So if a hopper is facing in any direction like this, but there's a hopper beneath it, this hopper will get pri priority. So any items that you send through, through this one, if it's not being powered by redstone, the bottom is not being powered by redstone, it will pass into this block even though it's not looking like it. It's a priority effect or something like that. So it's supposed to go this way, but if there's a hopper beneath it, the items from the top hopper will go to the bottom hopper. But since there's a rest, uh, redstone torch here, which is powering this block, which is next to this, it's going to uh, not enable for any items to go into this hopper or out. So what happens when you place an item here, it's going to drop down here, turn off this comparator, and that comparator is powering this block. It's going to power this redstone torch, uh, dust, and this dust again to have an, uh, to get a signal. To show that signal, I will put a repeater here and just get like a uh, redstone lamp. I'll just move this out so you guys can see better. Okay. Okay, see? Now I place in a diamond. On. On. Now you could use this to, uh, you could put a T butt into this. Uh, not a T butt. A T flipper, whatever that's called. You know, a T flip flop. Yeah, T flip flop. To have a continuous signal. Okay? 
So, yeah. And another great thing about this design is it's extremely customizable and the best part about it, it's tileable. Let me show you what I mean. So I'll use Emerald for the building block just so you can differentiate between the two of them. So I'll just build this really quickly. Okay. So hopper hopper. Parator. It's still dust. Repeater. Oh, oops. Repeater. Ah, oops. Torch here. And now, like before, we're going to place the signs like this. And let's use a new item this time. So let's use iron. So two of them here. Like the original one, it's the exact same thing, but just with different items. So, And you might be wondering, well, you... Well... This is being powered, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you can see faintly that there's a... I think there's a redstone signal there. But there isn't one here. And you're guessing, well, if this is powered, won't that get powered and power both of them at the same time? Well, truth is, no. This is a special thing about comparators. The only... on When certain items are inside something, it's gonna give out a certain strength of a signal. So this is strength 1. There's two, three, four. There's four strengths, right? So when I pass down an item and it's turned off, it's gonna send one send one more signal this way, but it can't go this way because well, it's gonna go both ways, but it's not gonna reach this one because, like I said, it's gonna only give it a signal signal strength of two. So two this way, uh, one, two, one, two. It's not gonna reach this one, so this one will stay fine. So to show that, I'll just. Um, get repeaters. No, I'll put them. I'll put them this way. In this way. Oops. Oh. Oh my God. I am failing on this tutorial. It's been like seven minutes already. Okay. And I'll show you right here. So, the first one it uses iron. The second one uses diamonds. So let's see. The diamond in this one. That one corresponds to that uh, redstone lamp. It'll light up. Put an iron in this one. That one lights up. Now, what if we do it for this one? Nope. Rejected. Okay. How about put a diamond on the second hopper? It's still rejected. So this can expand infinitely, or I wouldn't want you to expand it infinitely because. Well, if you want to, you could, but really, I don't think you would need to, since there are not many items. Well, there is a lot of items, but not infinite items in Minecraft, so you, you could have one for every item, but yeah. So, all the items will end up in the second hopper right here, see? And you could place a chest here, like here, so you can collect them in the end. So this could be used a lot for many different reasons. This could be used for item sorting for like a, a lock or a key or like a password door so you need to enter a password uh, like a, a special block or like take paper and just rename it to something you have to put it in and it, once it's in that hopper and it's correct it will emit a signal and that will open a door so yeah this could be used for many reasons. Um, I have another uh, uh, hopper filter but I won't be showing in this video. I'll show it in the next one. This, this is the first one. This is the really tileable and compact one. So, yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it flattered you and tingled your love for redstone. And, uh, hmm, what else should I say? Well, I want to expand my channel. I won't, hey, guys, do me a favor. Tell your friend. Tell everybody that you know to watch my videos because I really want to get big on YouTube but I can't do it without your help so it's up to you guys if you guys want to continue on helping me out it would be awesome uh, so thanks for watching guys subscribe like comment and continue being awesome Darkwater Projects